Since 1983, Erin's Isle Irish Pub has been selling food and making memories. But now, 30 years worth of items, proof of owner Mike Ward's hard work, Jeez, 50 cents, 75. You got some beautiful bags in there, you guys. Will be sold in just one day. First piece, piece of memorabilia, lot number 200, two times. Everything inside this Irish pub on Collier Boulevard must go. You know, you're not going to get what you, get, you paid for it, but you just have to deal with that. You know, that's what life is all about. So. Auctions don't bring much money. Mike leased the property for nearly three decades, but when his landlord sold it, he was told he'd have to leave because the building would be torn down. Some difficulties with the landlord, and uh, we've been fighting back and forth. I finally just said it's enough, so now. Mike won't watch the auction. He says that would be too painful. There's so much stuff in there that customers have given him. But the most difficult part of it all, Mike says, was letting employees go. Sad. I mean, this is an icon. I've been in town for 21 years, and I'd never been in this place until I came for a job, and it was the best kept secret. And by tonight, this room will be empty. I'll walk out of here with my head high. But Mike knows memories can't be sold, not even to the highest bidder. Julie Salamone, Fox 4, in your corner. Mike tells Julie at 65 years old he's just not sure if he'll start another bar or restaurant. He says it hurts to know that his Snowbird customers will come back wondering where he went.